So Unity recently made a new update, I guess, to their service, and it's a controversial one. If you haven't heard, essentially Unity is now charging 20 cents for each time a user installs your game, not buys your game. This 20 cents comes out of the developer or publisher's pocket. Now, if you use Unity, don't freak out yet, because that doesn't affect everybody. If you are using the Unity Personal and Unity Plus services, you must have made at least $200,000 US dollars or more in the last 12 months and have at least 200,000 lifetime game installs. And if you are using the Pro or Enterprise service, you must have made a million US dollars or more in the last 12 months and have at least a million lifetime game installs. The vast majority of Unity users will not be affected by this. But that's not what the problem is. It's not the majority who won't be affected, it's the minority that will be affected. Because the minority that will be affected, a majority of that minority is probably going to hurt from this. There are thousands of people who make games in Unity who don't even come close to the threshold for the personal subscription. So most people are going to be fine. It's the people who make games that get noticed, get downloads, have people play them, have a small community around them, but don't make a ton that are going to hurt from this. As an indie dev myself, I don't even come close to having 200,000 people download my games. I don't even touch that, and I don't even use Unity. So as I'm going to say again, the vast majority of Unity users are going to be fine. They're not going to be affected by this. But I can see a fallout effect happening from the people who will be affected by this who just cannot afford to pay 20 cent tax, because that's what this is. This is a tax for every download made on their game. They're going to drop out and stop using Unity, so then the people who are just barely who don't who aren't reaching that threshold yet they're probably going to start getting noticed they're going to start getting a lot more downloads and they might start now having to owe this tax but i don't know how i don't know if that's going to happen that's just my theory of the fallout effect they're also working on some way to prevent fraud from happening so people can't just like, 10 people can't download your game 20 times and make you pay 20 cents for each download. They're not, they have some way in place so that that's not going to happen. I don't know how that works, but I don't use Unity, so I don't even know how they're going to track your how much, how, many sale, how much you're making in sales on a Unity game. So, just, I guess, just take it from this random guy on Reddit. <laughs> But another major change is you're not going to be able to use Unity offline. You can use it offline for up to three days, then you need to reconnect to the internet. Which is really stupid. Uh, they're, they're really cracking down. I don't know if like they're losing money or something. Like, I don't know if people are pirating Unity. I don't even... Unity, I think Unity is free and you just have to pay a subscription after like, like, a, like a 30 day trial or something. Yeah, it says that Unity Personal will be free and there's no, like, revenue limit. Um, I do know that the free version, or I don't know if it was free, but I do know that one that the personal version of Unity, if you made, like, 100000 US dollars, you had to start giving them, like, a cut of whatever you made. I believe this only affects the personal uh, plan, not, like, the professional version. So... Maybe that version is still completely offline available. I don't know. Now, let's not get this twisted. This is really scummy on Unity's part. They don't need this 20 cent tax. I think it's like 10 cents for the professional use. Um, they don't need this. All right. This, this is just greed. This is just them being scummy. I really don't see this uh, working out in Unity's favor at all. I can see a large percentage of the Unity user base just not even bothering even those who aren't going to be affected just not even bothering with unity anymore and moving on to like unreal or godot or whatever but this is this is sad to me because 
uh, people like to joke about Unity making like crappy indie horror games, but Unity is a good engine. I don't use it personally. I have my own engine that I use that I'm pretty much fluent in. But it's sad to see that Unity is doing these changes. And it's just going to hurt people more than help them. And it's, well, I guess there was never, it was never going to help anyone, but it's just going to hurt more people. That's just going to push them away from your program. They're not going to want to associate themselves with it. And I don't know. It's just sad. I, I love indie gaming. I love indie game development. And it's sad to see that the most prolific program used is, is, has these scummy practices involved in it. Hopefully there will be enough pushback from the Unity users and just indie game developers in general that they'll maybe push back their deadline on when they're going to implement these changes, or maybe they're just not going to do it at all. Uh, maybe this will just be such an unpopular opinion, they'll just give up on this idea and just leave Unity the way it is. I guess we'll just have to see. I'll be monitoring this very closely, and I'll try to keep you guys posted.